Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video, we're going to learn about the relationship between two quantitative variables. All right, a scatter plot shows the relationship between two quantitative variables measured on the same individuals. The values of one variable appear on the horizontal axis, and the values of the other variable appear on the vertical axis. Each individual in the data set appears as a point in the graph. To make a scatter plot, we're going to first identify the variables and label the axes. We're going to scale the axes and we're going to plot the individual data values. If we want to do this with technology, I would recommend going to staplet.com and picking two quantitative variables. Um, how to describe a scatter plot. So we're going to use this acronym DUFFS, which stands for Direction, Unusual Features, Form, and Strength. So for direction, we're going to say it's positive, negative, or no association. Unusual features would be any outliers or clusters. The form is the overall pattern. Is it linear or nonlinear? And then the strength, how much um, the points deviate uh, from the form. So if they're really close um, to, like, if you imagine there's a line going through the data, if they're really close to where that line would be, it's a very strong relationship. If they're more spread out, it's a weaker relationship. Okay, so we can use the words like weak, strong, moderately strong, etc. All right, make a scatter plot and describe the relationship. Is there a relationship between the amount of sugar in grams and the number of calories in movie theater candy? Uh, here are the data from a sample of 12 types of candy. So we're going to make a scatter plot to display the relationship between the amount of sugar and the number of calories in movie theater candy, and then we're going to describe the relationship shown in the scatter plot. All right, so um, here's our data. I'm going to go ahead and put the grams of sugar on my x axis, my horizontal axis, and I'm going to count by 20 starting at 40, and calories along my y axis, and I am going to start at 300 and count by 100s. And it's okay here that um, it doesn't have to start at zero. All right. So then I'm going to 45, 450, plotting a point there, 107, 570, 62, 480, 44, 370, 79, 790, 60, 420, 61, 580, 87, 450, 92, 490, 136, 680, 59, 460, 48, 350. All right, so I've plotted all of my points. I've made a scatter plot. Now I want to interpret this scatter plot and see what it tells us. So D stands for direction. Um, I would say that this is positive. So we read a graph like we read a sentence from left to right. When I look at it from left to right, it's going upwards. So there is a positive associ association between sugar and calories from movie theater candy. Uh, U stands for unusual features, so it looks like um, the peanut M&Ms, the one that's at 79, 790, is maybe a possible outlier. It doesn't really um, fit with that linear pattern. It departs from the linear pattern. Form, F, uh, we will say that this there's a linear pattern. Okay, There's not an obvious curve going on here. And then S stands for strength, and I would say that the association has a moderate strength. Okay, and that's it. All right, go Seahawks.